Hi people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Joy here, try to recover with the voice and everything. Hope you can hear me properly. Uh, today I was actually gonna do a fragrance review, sort of like initial impression. Change my mind, I quite do that often because it's just, you know, I'm just, if I'm like, you know, like Al Pacino had a dialogue uh, in Scent of a Omen. Uh, it's like he tells his uh, cat, when in doubt, toot toot, you know, <laughs> therefore. Um, so I'm like, yeah, screw it, you know, I'm gonna do what I wanna do, you know. So I just, you know, changed that completely and I just opted towards this one. So this is gonna be a list. I have done this list, I think, a couple of times before I've done, uh, I've done a v Valentine's Day a dating scenario. But today I looked at all my collection and I'm like, let me pick up some of my best uh, suggestions for you guys from my collection that you can uh, use for dating purposes. It could be winter, summer, different fragrances, daytime, nighttime. But dating mostly what I mean by it, it's like it's a romantic situation. There's nothing uh, violence. There's no harshness. There's nothing like a monster coming with their big samurai sword trying to cut others off with their fragrance like hey screw your fragrance you know <laughs> nothing like that it's just you want to be subtle you want to be sexy you could be a little bit sensual you could be mysterious you could you know all those things that you want to do you know achieve in your dating and then, wow you know the, the other person go like wow <laughs> yeah that's the ultimate goal so yeah uh, it, this is gonna be just my list. There are a lot of other fragrances that didn't make the list, but that doesn't mean they are bad fragrances. They're all great fragrances. Some of them are missing, like Dear Rome Intense, Valentino Omo Intense are missing. They're already great. So people know that, but you're not gonna see them here today. Uh, so the thing is, I put them up from 15 all the way to number one based on one particular category. That is like the kind of attention that I got from my girl, or uh, the compliment she gave me, or how other people even like believe it or not people around you they look at you they notice you so based on those reactions right so i'll speak as usual very briefly on each and here you go right so this is for people who are into dating single people are awesome right all the best guys <laughs> number 15 let's start with the gourmand this fragrance yes many people will tell me this is not this is too sweet this is too cloying it's it's it's, it's boring uh, some people will say that but trust me the performance is great it has really beautiful projection and longevity it's beast right and it's not super expensive so my 15 number 15 is from house of salvatore ferragamo this is vomo so it has that sort of people say tiramisu vibe and uh, some people say they do not get it absolutely it's just a sweet mess uh go try it in the store okay even as a fragrance and it's on its own you just want to wear something sweet and long lasting beast uh, salvatore ferragamo vomo is a very solid choice number 15 it's, 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 it's going to be really good for your romantic setup, especially at night time. Let's say you're just going to have a little bit flirtiness and she's going to be around you, holding you. She gets, you know, smell this on you. You're going to have good chances of, you know, like making her very, very happy later. You know, like, you know, she's, she's going to be impressed with your fragrance, right? That's what I mean. So, Salvatore Ferrega Momo, number 15. <clears throat> number 14 is a fragrance. Uh, many people will be like, ah, no, 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 no. Why, why, why? Uh, this fragrance you shouldn't bring it here we hate it I know I know you hate it but I love it because this one get me compliments after compliments ladies love to sniff it on you and it's very flirty it's Pakuraba Invictus guys the original Invictus the small bottle I am yet to finish it I'm gonna get a big bottle of it this is my trusted buddy guys this is gonna be Invictus Aqua Invictus Intense new Invictus Aqua a lot of Invic in Invictus right but this right here is the one that deserves all the credit uh, you may not like it you may not like the, how it smells up close, but when it's when you're wearing it and you're passing by certain people, trust me, it, it, it's something that's desirable. You are a desirable man. And it actually cuts down your age by half. Let's say you're 40, you're going to be 20. <laughs> At heart, you're going to be 20. So, Bakrova Invictus, I think one of the solid choices if you're going to be flirty sort of a dating, right? Clubbing, dancing, and you know, you're going to be like a lot of, you know, that <laughs> scenario. Number 14 is Bakrova Invictus. Okay, now the next three are going to really shock you guys. And I, I am I'm going to be saying sorry, but not sorry. I'll tell you the reason. The number 13, okay, 15, 14, 13, is this one, the legend, YSL Lanui Delon. Reason being for being so low, now the recent formulation doesn't last. It's watered down, and it's still pricey like before. It's expensive. It's, it's on the expensive side. If you can get a vintage version, it's going to be jumping right in the top five. But given the current formulation it's still nice i'm gonna still say it's a good fragrance if you can respray in the middle of your date if you can afford it if you are kind of you know rich guy 
and you don't mind you know like get 200 ml and then keep an atomizer that that will do but that's sort of like painful thing you don't want to reapply all the time but lanidolum still pretty solid choice if you can get a uh, vintage version right so number 13 is YSL lanidolum current formulation I'm talking about not talking about this formulation right okay number 12 Number 12 is a similar fragrance, it's themed also similar, but now after reformulation, reformulation, it, it's much watered down, but still a very nice fragrance for nighttime, colder weather. It, it is gonna last like four or five hours, maybe six, pushing. With the current formulation, maybe three and four, three and a half hours, four hours, but still remains one of the best dating scents ever. Very romantic, very mysterious, very dark, and very sexy. This is Armani's code, okay? This is the mid, formulation after that they changed the cap and everything so this was right after they made from armani black coat to code right this is that formulation so if you can find it give it a sniff i know armani code perfume is there a lot of other version but check this one out okay armani code it's one of the solid choices for dating okay that goes to number 11 number 11 is a fragrance from house of mancera this fragrance was going to go much higher up reason why reason why is because it is very playful it's very easy to wear it's very good crowd pleaser but sometimes you can come out as a bit of like a tutti frutti salad <laughs> you know if what i mean so that could be uh maybe a good thing in some girls if they're funky but some girls may not take you so seriously because they think you're too colorful but nonetheless it's a good daytime fragrance for a uh, dating purpose okay this is out lemon mint the reason i put it so below because the next at the top 10 which are really serious fragrances and uh, this one can compete them easily uh, with the performance everything but still i'm just going by the smell of them and how much reaction that i got this is a very good crowd pleaser but it's a little bit on the casual not too much on the sexy side it's sweet it's pleasing but you could end up being a best friend of like you know <laughs> and you don't want to be best friend but you know if you know it's dating like casual dating daytime out lemon mint works really really okay so number 11 now time for the top 10 so the top 10 actually are pretty serious okay these are not going to be a child's play every single fragrance you're going to see here every single fragrance is serious stuff it's them in business all right number 10 this is what amouage reflection man okay uh, this fragrance has some uh, properties like lamal you guys already know this already but this has much more upscale feel to it you know the dry down goes to in a certain way it makes you smell so handsome you know if you're just going to be a little bit formal in dressing you have nice white shirt that you're wearing it works also nice in the office setup but this is like the corporate dude going for a date right but the thing is it's not super beast mode like many other amours like blue beast or something like that but it's very handsome it's very sophisticated dude and he is like this guy has money <laughs> people can tell uh, i'm owning it doesn't mean i have money but i'm just lucky <laughs> but a reflection man number 10 check this out it is a little bit on the pricier side which is why this one and the next one are kind of on the below on the later part okay this is number 10 is amouage reflection man number nine very good perform perfume very good fragrance one of the best top sellers that it's called the king in the community but the hardest part of this fragrance is the price tag, you know. And some people say performance, but performance, I have no issue with it. I, it this fragrance comes back every now and then. It has beautiful properties to it. It just leaves a nice scent trail in the air, right? This is Creed's Aventus. After a long time, I'm putting it in a list. I hardly reach for it when I go for a date only with my girl. She loves the smell of it. That's when I put it. So this one works really beautifully in the winter time, even the newer formulation, 2015 onwards. This fragrance works really good in winter situation, nighttime. Daytime, nighttime, if it's not too hot, this fragrance is going to last a long time on your clothes. And this fragrance, something about it on the dry down, the other clones cannot provide it, right? But the only reason it's so down in the order is the price tag, $350, guys, for 120 mil. Not everybody can afford it, but damn nice fragrance if you cannot afford this get one of the clones like rasasi zebra or club new intense man the reactions are kind of like same women go gaga over this fragrance i tell you my girlfriend she just absolutely adores this right just that price tag it push it all the way to number nine creates aventus okay number eight don't hate me dior savage edp yes this fragrance it's not in everybody's list, but the, trust me, guys, this fragrance has something magical about it. It's a trusted buddy. In any category you think of, Dior Savar EDT or EDP, this one is a tad bit sweeter, a little bit more darker, and a little bit, I would say, upscale version of Dior Savage EDT. 
So this fragrance, what it does, it has some pineapple, ambroxan, sort of like a synthetic <coughs> industrial sort of smell. But what it does is, it does hang on to your skin and clothes for a very, very long time. So that is a desirable aspect. Let's say you're going to have a date and you're going to be staying over at her place. Like, you know, I don't know, in my country, it's not happening that much. But if in overseas conditions, yeah, if you're used to dating, yeah, let's be honest, right? So you're going to be staying over at her place and everything. You wake up and she wakes up and smells your shirt, you know, you're hanging it. She's absolutely going to remember you for this fragrance. You know, just don't be a douche and screw the reputation of this fragrance, right? It's a very common fragrance, common DNA, but it does smell like something easy to love, right? So I'm not going to pass on this saying it's a not a good fragrance, okay? Dior Sauvage EDP is still pretty solid for dating. I'd suggest you wear it in the night time, better, okay? So there goes number uh, 8, 10, 9, 8, okay, number 7. Number 7 is my compliment beast. I was going to pick this or Pure Malt. This one won because my girl loves this one a little bit more. I love Pure Malt more, but I'm going based on her you know, preference and liking. So this fragrance, what it does is, you guys know, Havana cigar, you know, has some uh, sweet cherry property to it. But damn, this this fragrance, if you can find that Thierry Mugler version instead of the Mugler version, get that one. Like this, these, they do last still very long time, six, seven hours, solid hours. That's good for one night's dating. And this is kind of like on the mature side, you know, the guys who have a little bit chest hair, you know, they're not worried about trimming, trying to look perfect like a Ken, you know, or Barbie, <laughs> not like modern day models. This has something like Pierce Brosnan in James Bond, you know, he has like, you know, he's still macho, but kind of flirty. This is, this is kind of like him, okay? And it has a Sean Connery about it as well. So Harrison Ford, men like that, they smell special like this. So it's a special fragrance. You're not going to be smoking, but you're going to smell like a, very, very expensive Havana cigar, right? Pure Heaven by Thierry Mugle is my number six. Number five. One of the most romantic fragrance, and this just got edged out a little bit by the next one, and I'll tell you the reason. This is from House of Cartier. Now I hear it's being discontinued. I don't know. I hope the rumors are not true. Declaration Don Soir. Cartier has a lot of great fragrance in their collection, in their house. This fragrance right here, every time I wear it, God, no one can give me that opening of that rose. Even Amouage, Lyric Man, cannot come near this, you know, in my world. Declaration Don't Soar is just niche fragrance, in my opinion. It's it's very cheap in terms of pricing, but the smell you get, the creation, I'm never going to run out of this juice, right? This is one of the best dating fragrance if you, let's say, thinking of rose, candies, chocolates, cakes. You got to wear this to make that date perfect, you know? Valentine's Day, this one will come up on the top of the cherry. It's like a cherry on the top of everything, you know? It's like the icing of everything. So this fragrance, yeah, it has some sandalwood, creamy sandalwood that comes on. You gotta get used to that sandalwood note. I didn't like it at first, but now, the, the how long it lasts also, six, seven, eight hours easily. Daytime, nighttime, you gotta smell, you, you know, people smell this on you, they know they're going for dating, right? One of the most romantic scents ever made. Cartier, Declaration Dun Soir, number six. Did I say this? Oh, number six, six, all right. Now, time for my favorite top five. Number five. Paco Rabanne Pure Excess. Oh God, how much I'm loving this every day. It's so addictive. That vanilla note and the boozy vanilla, the sugary feel to it. Man, oh man, this one also lasts and lingers a very long time. If it's a little bit breeze, it projects nicely. My girl liked it. I think it's, it makes extremely high class clubbing. You know, you're going to go for clubbing first, nice dinner, and then you're going to go for a six, seven star hotel. Uh, it's just going there. It's just going right up there. And the man, he knows he's going to get lucky. I mean, this fragrance actually, for me, replaces the current formulation of this one. Versace is the rose, the legend, right? The new eros doesn't last. Uh, it's very weak right now. That one was my favorite. But this one, it's actually the new big thing. Okay, next big thing. It's a very underrated juice, guys. You know, you might think it's boring at first sniff. Give it few wearings. Try it again and again. Wear this for a date time. Ladies love fragrances like this, okay? It has a very sort of posh feel to it. Check out my review on it. Pure Excess by Pakoraban is my number five for dating scenario at night time. Number four, Tom Ford Noir Extreme. I have done a review on it. This one, if you do like La Nuit de Long, but you want something that is a niche version of it, I think there's one more fragrance I have, but this one, I think it's, it's much more niche and uh, mysterious version of La Nuit de Long. It has good lore. Just try this fragrance. I don't want to talk about this one. Like, Tom Ford is, they hardly do any fragrance wrong, but they're very daring. 
this one such articulate nicely crafted and i'm just happy it's on the designer side did it end up in the niche side easily could have been in the niche uh the exclusive collection right but then tom for noir extreme is my number four for dating scenario absolutely sexy delicious man all right if you're wearing this actually women can also wear it but then you know my suggestion for men tom for noir extreme number four now number three Man, Sarah said, "Rad Boise." This is yes. Uh, this is actually beating Aventus by far, right? Aventus supposed to be here. Man, Sarah supposed to be there. But my personal choice, man, this one. <sighs> that you know, people say they don't get pineapple in this, but I do. It's it's just my imagination. Whatever, I don't know. This fragrance, the first day I sniffed it, I loved it over Aventus. <laughs> it does project. I smell it on my friend, one of the guys, Shafi Bhai. He, he wore this one day. Every time he talked, the breeze hit him. Like he's like good. Five six feet away from me, I sniff it on him. Like, dude, you are projecting like crazy. <laughs> so anyway, this one it's a very sexy, a uh, little bit woodiness, a little bit leather. It is a little bit smoke going on. Don't worry about the rumors of performance issues. None, none. Mansera, Mansera has no problem. Sidrat Boise, check out this fragrance. Check out the house of Mansera. Check out many other fragrance from this house, but sexy, sexy, juicy. All right, this is my number three. Okay, for dating scenario. Number two. This is back. <laughs> Why is this back, CH Man Privé? You'll be like, huh? uh, what? Land with alone, land. Uh, event is there. Why is this here? This is something for winter time, okay? This is when you're wearing a leather jacket and you want to be a badass guy. You want to be the bad guy. You know, you want to be like a piercing through in the air. The girl can pick you up like your smell from across the road. That's what exactly happened. Once my girlfriend was picking me up, she was on the other side of the road. She was in the car. And she could smell me, you know, she was like inside the car and then her maybe window was down or something. She's like, I smelled you, you know, you're coming from far. I smelled you. And she's like, I just love the smell of this, you know. So this one, I think, actually does what Lanny Delum is supposed to do with a lot more uh, aggression. You know, if you're looking for those aggressive sort of reactions, like, you know, somewhere here, you're going to come back and get a hickey and stuff. You know, you're going to get some scratches and stuff. And your mom's like, hey, what's that? Did you get eaten by bug or something? You're like, yeah, yeah big bug <laughs> ch man Privé. leather jacket winter time awesome whiskey 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 is in it as well man i cannot wait for winter to come back one of the best dating scents ever ch man Privé, number two and that leads me to number one very long video i'm sorry prada luna rosa black this has been making a lot of my top list right for good reasons guys okay I know many of the people will be like, ah, this is just nice, it's good, you know, that's, that's where it ends. Maybe fragrances like Spice Bomb, you know, these fragrances could be number one, not this one. Let me tell you one thing, guys, okay? I do not listen to, like, fragrantica reviews, other people's comments, and just, you know, follow what they say without testing a fragrance on myself, okay? When I test a fragrance on myself, I had a small sample. That small sample lasted seven eight hours on me and it projects every time there's nice breeze going on at night time i thought it's a little bit dark with a very clean and fresh sort of like a dreamy you know smooth you know that kind of feel with a little bit darkness which never gets dirty it's just borderline dark right so that's what i love about it it's just on the neck it's just when you're sweating a little bit that thing it comes back right so this thing makes it very handsome very sophisticated high class clean bar of soap at the same time touch of darkness okay that's what makes it superb superb mysterious nighttime dating scent right so prada luna rosa black this is i think edp concentration yes so this fragrance check it out this is my number one for dating right so that's that's all i have for today there you go 15 fragrances that i suggest for you try them out in different scenarios and do let me know if they work for you right take care guys i'll do when i wake up I think I'll be doing better. I'll do a fragrance review for you tomorrow morning. Or take care, guys. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.